all right folks good evening this is dr paul thank you for tuning to my channel today today i want to talk about opioid antagonists there are many injections like vivitrol naltrexone tablets so i want to focus on that first of all the heroin addiction the prescription drug abuse is all time high all time high like this afternoon i was watching the news prince died in minnesota we remember elvis presley dying of drug overdose then we know michael jackson whitney houston now it is elvis so it is so sad folks these people they are highly successful people they have millions of dollars private jets multi million mansions millions of fans at they are not satisfied their lives are empty and that emptiness they want to fill with drugs alcohol and sex and one of the days we suddenly hear they are died of drug overdose there are millions of people like that their lives are empty i mean this is the richest country in the whole world at 90% of the world's drugs are consumed here and people have no joy i mean you remember about puritans puritans used to have this concept delayed gratification that means like discipline disciplined life but the discipline has gone the puritans are very faith based society they believed in god and they lived a very disciplined life but our society removed god completely removed faith completely now they are empty and that emptiness they want to fill with sex and drugs and pornography and everything that comes along now they are dying the suicide rates are all time high like in last three decades it has been never like this the suicide rates are skyrocketing so there is this emptiness in the lives of people and lot of people are dying of overdose there are more people dying today of drug overdose than traffic accidents so that's a very painful thing to watch and we have to do something as physicians to stop this we need to counsel educate people the patients who come to us for help so i want to talk a few minutes about this practice what you preach right so i am doing this in my clinic i give these injections to people i give treatment to people i tell them to stop all kinds of drugs to lead a drug free life so treatment with an opioid antagonist it prevents the user from experiencing any kind of opioid intoxication or physiological dependence with subsequent use so naltrexone that's the opioid antagonist and this naltrexone you can use it for the maintenance treatment to prevent relapse in opioid use disorders naltrexone it blocks the effects of opioids naltrexone should not be used prior to the completion of a medically supervised withdrawal from opioids it's very important because naltrexone can cause immediate withdrawal symptoms it will precipitate withdrawal So if a person with the physical dependence of opioids comes to you don't give naltrexone Naltrexone is for maintenance it is the most effective in patients who are highly motivated or legally mandated to receive treatment So they should take this medication under supervision A long acting naltrexone formulation is also available as injection so for those people you can use that injection that is called vivitrol so it's a once monthly injection so naltrexone has very few side effects some people tell me like they got like nausea headache dizziness or fatigue very minor side effects and sometimes liver damage can happen but it is very very rare and also remember one thing the liver damage always resolves once you discontinue naltrexone patients who discontinue antagonist therapy and then resume opioids they are at a very high risk for opioid overdose so when you 
always tell that to people after if you stop vivitrol be careful you are at high risk to die from opioid overdose oral naltrexone it is effective too the dsm for opioid dependence disorders if you many meta analysis were done like 13 controlled trials were done they all showed that oral naltrexone treatment is effective compared to the placebo so naltrexone tablets i usually start people on naltrexone tablets first if they say yes is good then i start them on naltrexone injections oral naltrexone uh, treatment was effective compared to the placebo many trials have shown that so it's uh, important to educate people and then oral naltrexone i start a single 50 mg tablet daily and when you doubt start at a low dose like 25 mg half tablet or 50 mg tablet so the medication you can start it 3 to 6 days after the last use of short acting opioids or 7 to 10 days after a long uh, long acting opioid or methadone or buprenorphine so you always observe them there is a test called naloxone challenge test you can do this naloxone challenge test a naloxone challenge test you can perform this before initiating antagonist treatment so that you you feel confident the patient is not opioid dependent at this point what you do is you make the patient come and you ask him what symptoms do you have patient write it down then you give like a very small amount of naloxone like you give that like a subcutaneous or intramuscularly or intravenously and you can go up to 0.8 mg and you observe the patient for one hour and you see what are his vital signs what are his uh, what symptoms he has it's called a clinical opioid withdrawal scale available on the internet so can download it and fill it what are the symptoms you have so what are the signs you have what is the pulse rate blood pressure so you see these things and if the patient gets those things you postpone the treatment for 24 more hours so since naloxone has a short half life so any withdrawal precipitated by naloxone it typically resolves in 1 or 2 hours so no problems So you do naloxone challenge test and then slowly start these people on naltrexone. And some people, you have to go by naltrexone injection because they cannot, uh, uh, they are not the reliable to take uh, naloxone tablets. So for these people, you have to give once monthly injection. So bring them into the office. teach them tell them about it take a liver function test take a urine drug screen if they are clean then tell them let's start you on tablet take naltrexone tablet if they are not clean tell them come back come back like in 4 days and in the when they come back like take another urine drug screen and give like 10 day period everyone who is receiving naltrexone injection they should have a 10 day period uh uh 10 day negative screen so you, they should be negative on day 1 and also on day 10 they should be negative so if you follow those guidelines is very easy the depart formulation of naltrexone you can give it every 4 weeks by intramuscular injection in the gluteal muscle at a dosage of 380 mg per injection Now how do you go by the treatment selection is it opioid agonist like uh, methadone or buprenorphine or antagonist like naltrexone so it goes by what you are seeing it, it depends on patient folks some patients are highly motivated and these patients with the uh, mild uh, opioid disorders you can tell them to consider the injection there are people not that motivated you can tell them to start with suboxone that is like buprenorphine 
Then if you take a opioid agonist, uh, what is methadone or uh, buprenorphine? That question comes. You remember, methadone is dangerous compared to buprenorphine because methadone, even at a dosage, a usual dosage, it can cause respiratory depression at a much, much lower dose than buprenorphine. So, buprenorphine, if you start it like uh, 8 milligrams a day, and if the patient is still having problems, go to 16 milligrams a day. So, you can also give clonidine in between. Clonidine helps to decrease those edges. So, you see, you, you, you need to take all these things into consideration. Is the patient highly motivated? Not much risk, then vivitrol injection is a good option. Is a heavy user? Then think about buprenorphine. So you see, if you take all these things into consideration, it's very easy to treat this problem. And President Obama talked about vivitrol injection recently. So this is very important uh, to implement because literally thousands of people are dying because of drug overdose and this uh, national epidemic that needs to be taken care of. You see, St. Augustine said there is a vacuum in every human heart that, that needs to be filled by God. But unfortunately, our generation it removed God and that emptiness it is trying to fill with the drugs and sex and pornography. You see, it, the drugs are like porn. People watch porn, they will never get satisfaction. They will go from website to website, website to website, they never get satisfaction. So drugs are also like that. They try one drug, then the other drug, the other drug. They go higher dose, higher dose. They mix with alcohol, they mix with bath salts, they mix with chemicals. And all of a sudden you find them dead. So how to treat this? Counseling. That's very important. An addiction drug counseling. Social therapy in a church or a synagogue or a mosque or a temple where people will give them some help to like a social life and uh, some kind of, uh, I mean, we should not uh, be rebuking them, but a loving atmosphere, a compassionate atmosphere that needs to be created around them. And once they feel that, you will see good results. I mean, sometimes you can get discouraged, but Overall, you see good results. I hope some of these points will help you. Thank you very much.